What's happening everyone? Welcome to the channel, appreciate you being here again today. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to apply a breathing technique on your wallpaper in Wallpaper Engine. So, what outcome are we exactly looking for today? So, we're basically going to manipulate the chest area here of this anime girl that I've brought in. Um, essentially, to essentially basically pop out and control it into a breathing technique so it looks like our character is actually alive. So to start off with, in regards to this, uh, we need to apply something. It's going to be really easy doing this. Uh, it's very simple uh, technique to do this. Um, very simple and easy to do. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and basically apply our effect on our wallpaper just here so add and we're going to do a shake <clears throat> essentially what you want to do here there's two options you can do uh there is the the uh directional shake that you can do or there is the spread now today i'll show you both uh, because both are pretty simple and easy to do. Um, but yeah. Uh, so we'll start off with the spread. So what you want to do is come over to the right here on the shake direction and press paint. Uh, go into your options here and press spread. And what you want to look for really is strength. Um, you don't want too much strength. Uh, I'd probably stick to around 150 something like that, uh, the rest is fine, and what you want to do is get into the general area and size of the area of the breathing that you want to get to, uh, so around, around here is quite nice for my character at the moment, so if I click it now, you can see that she is now breathing technically in her own sense she is technically just going in and out in a controlled manner and when you manipulated it popping out here it's pretty much it to be fair but there is some things that he could do as well um say obviously for this area here in particular you can go a little bit smaller and you can essentially just do the outside of, say, the cape here. You can click it. Now, this is obviously just an example image. But you can see what I mean with the chest. This part, this area is popping out. And then this area is going in as it's going out. So every time you click the, the, the mouse button, it's basically what you're doing is... Because that's going in the same direction now as this area here but if i click it again it is now going in rather than out do you see what i mean so in that way you could do that that is basically essential uh shake and uh, breathing technique you can do uh so obviously let's just make it look a little bit more presentable in this case now you could actually use uh, both options. So I'll just get rid of this. Make sure that it's not too bad. You do have the uh, strength and speed. So she can breathe quite quite rapidly. And all you got to do is just reduce her strength a little bit. So she is, it looks like she's uh, now uh, a cat breathing, you could say. <laughs> uh, so she's got like... Um, the rapid breathing technique at the moment um but you could do that and let's just make this a bit more presentable around here around the edges so it looks like now i'd probably stick to like the collar area here for example um i'll probably let that loose because technically as we breathe in in real life uh so does our clothes um so, yeah, I'll probably stick to that, which is pretty, yeah, that seems pretty effective, to be fair. 
uh, speed, I'll probably drop that down to one. And then have the strength go up a little bit. Maybe to one as well. Oh, no. Not one, sorry. <laughs> 0 0.1. Um, and... Yeah, that, that seems to be about right. Now, obviously, you got these little bits of uh, clothing here that are uh, coming uh, and bending and stuff like that. All you got to do with that is just basically go with the uh, strength again, so about 150. And just do it to all one, one particular area. what you deem as necessary, I suppose you could say. Now, granted, you'll probably have to um, fiddle about with it a bit more than what I am going to be doing at the moment. Like the strength, for example. Like, because these, uh, because of the strength, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit hard to do with this particular, um, this particular example of image but that's essentially what you're doing with the the breathing technique now there is the other option as well now what you can do now we're going to click our anime girl again and add another shake and this is the second option i was talking about now what we could do is to make her go up and down in a general manner and essentially what she'll be doing is she'll be just like kind of going up and down the spot uh which is another sort of breathing technique you could say but with the the in and out breathing here it look it would look pretty cool so i think what we'll do is we'll uh, go into this so you want a directional one this time, directional shake. Uh, you want the strength to be uh, full. And you'll want to do the whole image. Near enough the whole of the uh, the girl. Yeah. So if we, for example, do the top half of her. Say so there. Seems about right. Uh, let's do a mask. See where we are, where we're at with that. So let's delete some of this now. Uh, so we're just going the, all the way around the outside of uh, this anime girl. For a minute. Now, I don't want the her bottom half to go up exactly like that. Um, so I might... Let me just see how this plays out in general. Because it is just a breathing. Your legs don't breathe, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? And what we're doing now is just going around the outside. We will go smaller. In a minute. I might be a bit... Oh no, that's actually okay. That's fine. Uh, didn't cut off too much of the section. Not like that. See what I mean? Just got to... Keep on going with that. Drop it down in size. Make sure you don't hit the general direction. Now, what I'm going to do is probably just do that. And then I'm going to drop down the strength of her going up and down. So it doesn't look too bad with her head. If you unmask it now. Yeah, so it doesn't look too bad. We can up the speed a bit. That's not a problem. So you can see the general uh, up and down motion here of what, what she's going through at the moment. So it's just basically that, guys. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do, really. Um, nothing too strenuous. Um... It's quite a bit of fun to get used to as well uh, with other wallpapers. So if we go around on the outside here, I'm put mask back on so I know where I'm actually going with this. That's fine. 
if you don't hit a general area um with like this sort of thing like any obstruction uh it's fine just leave it be but if you do hit a general obstruction like this uh make sure you do take it out because it just doesn't look right like the railing at the back here and uh, the steam engine behind so it's basically just going very nicely to the general area just here now the clothing I don't mind um, to um not not too much but the generalization of the clothing going up and down with your breathing is quite obviously it's obviously quite common with reality so something like that is quite good on that side in particular do a little bit on this side because of the uh, the spread. Let's drop this down a little bit more. Now with the hair, um, I tend to try and avoid if I can as much as possible. Uh, if it does end up going like that, for example, I'd probably leave it as that unless you're very pixel perfect person um i mean i'm normally quite pixel perfect um but we'll drop this down anyway just to give you an example because what you don't want to do is hit the hair and then it just ends up spreading like that for example it's like uh yeah you see what i mean it's like i'd rather just leave it be to be fair, maybe it's something, something like that. Um, I don't think it's too much of a bother. Because this is a 4K wallpaper. Um, and not many people can see the general outline. So something like that. There. It is completely fine. Uh, just as long as you get the generalization of what you want to accomplish. Um, I'm sure everyone will be okay with that, having your wallpaper like that. So, with that being said, um, that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. Um, we have now accomplished um, two breathing techniques in one video. Um, the spread, obviously with a bit of fiddling. And uh, we have also accomplished the up and down motion, uh, the shake direction. Uh, so, yeah, um, there's not much more I can tell you about shakes in general. Just obviously you can change your friction, your speed, your strength. Just have a little have a little play with it. See what you think is uh, good for your wallpaper in general. Um, but that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll put a link in the description of my workshop on Steam for Wallpaper Engine if you want to have a gander at that. Uh, please rate the wallpapers on there if you so wish, um, no pressure. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.